excellent. G'day everyone, welcome uh, to the first video series, first episode of our first series here, Luke Richards Drums. I'm super excited to get stuff happening again. Uh, video content wise, I'm super excited to start talking to the camera instead of just playing drums the whole time. Um, just really excited to get all of this happening. So welcome to my living room and our main set. <laughs> I guess you could call this a set. Um, it's just my dining room table, nothing too fancy, but hopefully this is helpful. Um, I might be really bad at this, so bear with me through the first series that we do. Um, uh, we're gonna be here a little bit, I'll speak to the camera over here at this set. Uh, my drum kit's over there next to the kitchen, so we'll go over there a little bit as well to actually, you know, show you guys what I'm talking about with the educational stuff that we're doing. Um, but yeah, as you'd be able to tell from the first, or from the title of the video, the first series that we're doing is how to use your ears to learn how to play something on the drums. Um, it's a really foundational skill, something that I um, think I do all right, <laughs> and something that um, I've done lots over my relatively short career as a drummer. This is specifically tailored towards playing the drums, but I guess you could use this as well for other instruments. I don't want to be exclusive, but uh, that's what I'm going to be talking about, mainly talking about the drums. How do you go from never having heard a song to actually performing it live in a really um, like economical way, just using your time really efficiently, that's the goal. Um, yeah, I kind of break that down into four stages. First stage, I'd say, is listening to the song. I think it's really important to have a good understanding of what you're playing by listening to the song over and over again. Uh, second stage would be notating, um, maybe not writing the parts note for note the whole time, but actually writing down some notes about what's important, what grooves you're playing, what you know if you're playing half time, double time, what the tempo is, th those kinds of things. Um, three stage three would be practicing the song. <laughs> That's obviously important, right? To actually practice the song and know how to play the song, uh, and then the fourth stage would be performing. Uh, there are a couple of general tips that I'd want to give about how to perform a song well. Um, and so that's what we're going to do. This is going to be the first video on listening to the song, which should be pretty straightforward and that's why it's probably a shorter video, so I'll add some extra little um, bits in. My experience in doing this isn't super long. I haven't been a session drummer for like 50 years, so I, I, I haven't really gotten too much experience with this. Um, but the few times that I have used these, these stages of practicing, it has been really helpful and has really cut down the time on practicing things that I already know how to play um, and just really focused my time on what I actually need to practice in the song. A couple of examples of that, I got a call up from a mate, Miller, uh, shout out Miller if you're watching, um, to play a, a set of Less Than Jake songs. Um, now Less Than Jake are a ska punk band which is a, a genre I've never really listened to. Um, and we were playing a half hour set. Uh, and I was able to learn the stuff maybe in two or three hours and then had a couple of rehearsals with the band and then was able to play um, like a pretty decent performance, which should be on YouTube if you want to watch that and actually check if I did okay. Um, but yeah, I used this system there. Uh, it was really helpful. Uh, I'm, I'm in a couple of other bands and we've played some cover sets and it's been really helpful to go through this process of listening and then writing some notes and practicing the bits that need practicing and getting on stage. So whilst I don't have heaps of experience, this should be helpful. Excellent. Well, I've got my laptop here. I've got Spotify open. Um, this might be exposing me a little bit and what I actually want to listen to. But uh, yeah, I've got some things here. Uh, I'm going to give an example of a set that I'm I'm actually learning at the moment, uh, which should be good, trying to go through this series, giving an actual example of me doing the stuff that I'm talking about. So a worked example might be helpful. Um, this is with a band, Madison Minor. So I'm ho hoping that Brendan's not too uh, embarrassed with this photo that he's got on the playlist. Um, yeah, first stage of learning a song, I'd say, is just to listen to it over and over and over and over and over again or if you're playing a full set of songs you haven't played before. Just make a Spotify playlist of the set and listen to it over and over and over again. Listen to it in the shower, listen to it while you're in the car, listen to it all the time. Um, because the smaller uh, feel 
things of the song. The intricacies of the song kind of soak into you after you've listened to it over and over again. I can't tell you how many Reliant K songs I'd be able to play because I've just listened to them over and over again without even explicitly practicing them on the drums. Uh, it's just something that happens when your brain listens to music over and over again and you're actively listening to that music. You're thinking, oh, what are the drums actually doing here? Without trying to write it down on paper, just listen to what the drums are doing. And that's infinitely uh, valuable. Yeah, so we're going to listen to one of those Madison Minor songs now, one of these songs that I need to learn for a gig that's coming up soon. Uh, and I'll just kind of tell you as we're listening the things that I'm listening for because um, I'm trying to just actively think what are the drums doing you know eventually how am I going to play this song uh, that kind of thing so we're just listening to it over and over again but this is an example of what I'm listening for uh, this is a song called you can't change the past can't stop the future all you can do is fail spectacularly in the present <laughs> is a great song title um, so let's give it a listen here it's always nice to not have to start the song and count a band off, I find. It's a lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. The kind of things I'm listening for is just little... Uh, maybe repeated patterns. Repeated patterns are helpful because it means you have to learn less music. So what I'm hearing is that it's the same rhythm over and over again on the bass drum. This is a real like gent emo kind of thing. Yeah, it's got a real strong pulse on the the crash cymbal. So I'm just listening for repeated patterns, just things about the drum part that I can pick up and, and use later. Real strong pulse. First change was just there, uh, where it went half time on the, on the China symbol it sounded like. And then we come to the end, where there's a little tom pattern. But it's that same rhythm that you can hear. ba 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 da ba 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 da ba 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 but just orchestrated on the toms a little bit differently. And then the end of the song is a, you know, a lead line. Sweet. So that one really should be pretty easy to practice. So this might be um, a, a helpful example as we go through this series. Just listening to things over and over again, actively turning your brain on, what's repeated, what can I pick up and, and think about later, what are the drums doing? Um, but yeah, that's... That's that's pretty much it. I don't have to say much more. It should be pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, listening to things over and over again. That's my first tip. That's my first step. A uh, really helpful way to, to start learning some music. So, excellent. That's all for the lesson. Although Thomas, my housemate, did um, comment on my on my Facebook asking a question of what I'm listening to at the moment. And that's something that I want to answer because I love music lots and I listen to lots of music. Um, so one thing I'm going to do at the end of each of these videos is share an artist that I'm listening to or an album that I'm listening to. I don't really do playlists lots, so I'll recommend a lot of albums and a lot of artists. The first band that I want to shout out today, the first thing that I'm listening to, uh, is an album called I'll Be Fine by a guy named John Lewis. Um, this album is amazing. It's so good. Uh, I think it's great. John Lewis is such a great songwriter. Um, and it's just a phenomenal album. I don't have much more to say. Look, if you're into anything to do with like rock music or indie rock music, um, or just well-written songs about heartbreak, look, the album's awesome. So that's, that's my first recommendation. I'll Be Fine by John Lewis. Um, yeah. Look, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. Uh, we're gonna keep on going through our series on how to learn a piece of music. First tip, listen to that song. Let's do it over and over again. Have your brain switched on, actively listen to what's going on in the song. But that's all from me. Uh, there'll be a new video at some point in the future. <laughs> so look out for that. Um, 
subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss it. Um, and follow me on, on things like Instagram and such. Blue Cryptids Drums. There you go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.